I'll be unboxing Baby Monster's first mini album, Baby Monster. I ordered this from the Weavers Global Shop, so the pre-order benefits over there. And I have the YG Tag albums as well as the photo book album. But since these are in front of me, I'm going to start with the member YG Tag albums. So I'm going to open this up in each order, so we'll start with Ruka. I'm so glad there's seven members of Baby Monster again. And they finally were able to perform live in front of their fans on Inkigayo. So um, I'm really looking forward to seeing this fifth gen group of YG and seeing how they grow and what they're going to bring fresh to the table. All this member, Ruka from Japan. I've never opened one of these YG tag albums before. Oh, I should have showed. Let me show the front. There's a side that has the name, the other side, the back. And something fell out. So a pin. Swag Dance Monster. I'm guessing that's handwritten by the member herself. It looks like one of those old BHS um cases okay so this is Ruka's wiki so I guess everything we need to know about her and I believe they don't have positions assigned in this group either there's no leaders there but um oh is she an ISTJ so it looks like Ruka is an ISTJ as well you don't really see many ISTJ female idols so that's nice to have that one similarity as a fan. It's like question and answer stuff. It's like we get stickers. This is always nice when you want to decorate your binder and personalize it with whatever member you're going to include in that binder, um, at least for me. So we've got some drawings. Um, I think that's like her designated animal that represents her. So. She's a sloth. I did see that online in their profile. So that's like her self-written stuff. Then in here, probably a photo book. I'm wondering if we get a any photo card in here or not. So since we have seven members, I'll just try to be efficient. I always say that, but it always my videos always end up being kind of long. But this is a whole ass seven member group, so. Get these beautiful photos together on this glossy paper and then we get some photo cards here let me flip through the pages quickly and then i'll show you um, who the pulls are if it is random so this version is very nice because you get many photos of your chosen member and ruka looks amazing in all of these She's very adorable, despite being the eldest. Um, when you watch the Haunted House... Ooh, oh, this is backwards. When I watch the Haunted House YouTube video, um, it was very cute how she was like kind of a scaredy cat to go inside the Haunted House. So it looks like... Um, there's two sides of this photo book. I was wondering why it was upside down, but it looks like it meets halfway. Very nice, high quality photos. Okay. Kind of shows you a preview of what you just looked at. Um, let's see what this is. Oh, a QR card. You could listen to the album on the YGX Nemo's app. Now let's look at the photo cards. There's four of them. Let's start from the top. Is that Ruka or Chiki? I think that's Ruka. There's Ruka, another Ruka one. I feel like these are not pulls. It must be standard because they're all Ruka. These are duplicates. Okay, let's see how the other pulls are. 
with the other members to see if these are like standardized or if it's random, if there's more types of photo cards you could get of the member, but it looks like this version, you only get the member of your choice. Next YG tag album version is Parita, Paritas, Parita. I'm still learning about the members, but I think that's how you say her name. Parita, Parita. She got that gorgeous album cover of Parita. I must be saying her name wrong. Okay, let's open it up. And here's um, her pin. Check out Parita's wiki. And she is one of two time members of the group. So about her INTP, she's just like my sister. Does she answer? When I first saw Parita in the um, Baby Monster Survival Show, um, I thought that she kind of gave Park Bomb vibes from Twenty One, kind of like she kind of reminds me of Park Bomb a little bit, just by like her visuals, I guess, and the fact that she has a really strong, beautiful tone of voice. Okay, that was her wiki. Let's check out her um, photo album. Photo book. Pretty much every member of Baby Monster is a visual, so um, it's very easy to stand anyone or all of them together because not only they are visuals, they're all extremely talented. They all could sing, they all could dance. So um, I'm really looking forward to seeing what Baby Monster has to bring to 5th gen K-pop and how they're gonna um, follow the footsteps of their predecessors, Blackpink, 21, and even like the whole YG family. She kind of has like that indie style of singing. But in the Sheesh song, um, I like how pretty much all of them, they all were able to showcase their strong vocals. Very photogenic. And I like how Baby Monster has like multinational members in their group. It's actually surprising that it's not just like a single Thai or Japanese member. They actually have two Japanese members, two Thai members, and three Korean members. So now I'm curious like what other nationalities um, YG would create in the future with its groups. So that was her photo book. Same QR code to play the album on the Nemo app. So let's take a look at the photo cards. I feel like there should have been four. Okay. Well, looks like I only got three unless I find it later. So here's the first card. Selfie card of Parita, probably concept card, and another selfie card. Maybe I got a duplicate from the Ruka version. So that's Parita. Next, I'll open up Asa's YG tag album version. And Asa is the second Japanese member of this group. And pretty much, I would say consider her the main rapper 
regardless if they assign positions or not. Probably not because it seems like it's a trend with fourth and fifth generation to not have set positions, which is fine. But I kind of feel like there should be leaders in groups, but that's just my opinion. But anyways, um, let's just take a look at Asa's um, YG tag. I should have showed the sides before I opened it. Check out her wiki, the cute drawings. Ooh, ENTP, and I think the previous ones had their baby photos, age, birth date, uh, birthplace, I guess. And she is the first extrovert so far. I know there's more extroverts within Baby Monster, but it's pretty nice that members are sharing their MBTI so you could kind of get a feel of what kind of personalities that they have at least um, from what they show you here's her sticker looks really great and um, handwritten stickers too I'm so glad that YG included all seven members so if you watch like the member reveal at first he only showed five members but it was probably to build suspense so um, can't imagine baby monster without Asa or Rora because she is a killer in rap and she can sing too so that's what's great about this group now we're gonna look through her photo book okay I want to make sure I'm consistent so we're on the side that shows um, the photo of the member in the cover. So showing this concept first. Everybody is a fierce queen. Okay, I'm starting to think it should be three photo cards. So my Luca album actually had four, so that's why there was a duplicate. <laughs> so let's see if that happens with any other albums. You know, this is a really nice um, album version. So if you can't decide which one to get or you just want a certain member version, this doesn't disappoint because it's pretty much all photos of your chosen member. So I do like how YG chose to do it that way. And so far, I'm pretty impressed with the abundance of photos in this version. So I'm excited to check out the all member photo book version because I think there should be more types of inclusions, not just photo cards. Check out the three photo cards. First photo card. Gorgeous. Second one, concept photo card like a boss and last photo card super gorgeous next I'll be opening up Ahyun's YG tag album and this is the first time she's participating in um, a baby monster song release Luckily, this is the first physical album that's released. It could include her too. And the songs where she does not appear, like Batter Up and Stuck in the Middle, in this album, it has her voice in it too. So seven member version. Okay. This is her button. Definitely looks like a baby monster. Let's check out Ahyun's wiki. And actually Ahyun is my bias in baby monster. I do like all of them, but I kind of just stand her a little bit more than the others, which is natural. So um, yeah, I'm ecstatic that she is in baby monster. And cool, we have a second ISTJ, so I feel like because Ahyun and Luca are ISTJs like me, there's already that slight 
reason for them being my vice. <laughs> Which is kind of like a very simple reason, but whatever. <laughs> Oh, and I do really believe she's like the ace of the group. So, um, oh, did she draw that? Did Chiquita write that about her or something? Now let's check the photo book. Baby and the monster. And Ahyun really has the face of an actress, like, kind of looks like the actresses you see in the K-dramas currently. But also kind of reminds me of um, Jion from Tiara, just looks-wise. But um, it seems like when new groups come out, you can't help but feel like oh this member reminds me of someone else so you know that's more reason to remember who they are and maybe have a slight bias towards okay three photo cards which is good as long as we're not missing any photo cards it's funny how uh yg was teasing fans by showing six members first and then in the end like showing six members in the thumbnail but then in the end revealing that Ahyun is actually back so way to build um suspense and I like how Pretty much all the vocalists in this group, they all have strong voices, strong, powerful voices. They could belt, so I feel like that hasn't been seen in fifth gen. So I don't know about you, but I kind of feel like vocalists are really important in a music group. So can you believe there's seven? vocalist in this group that could actually sing strong and in tune and stuff like that so very exciting to stand this kind of group so that's the first photo card selfie photo card second photo card and third photo card which is similar to the other selfie photo card that was Ahyun's YG tag album version now this is Haram, aka, well now known as Rami's, Rami's album version. And if we were to assign a position within the group, she's definitely main vocal material. She has like a crazy strong voice. I mean, she has such a distinct voice within the chorus and she's definitely an integral member. So here's her pin that she drew. Check out her wiki. Rami. Rami's wiki. I got used to like remembering her as Haram, but this is her new stage name. Oh, an INFJ. Just funny because I have a couple INFJ family members and um Supposedly, that's the most rare personality type out of all the MBTI. So that's interesting to learn about these members. I like how they straight up just tell us what MBTI they are. Oh, these are nice drawings. I wonder, did she draw all these herself or did each member draw it themselves? Yeah, nice writing. That's nice too. Okay. Okay, so that was the monster that you see over there. Nice DIY look to it. 
check out her photo book. I like how in probably their first music show interview, she was able to show off her vocal chops and not be afraid of the mic, just straight up show how the choruses are. I think she's saying the bridge, right? Show fifth gen what to expect with those vocal chops. The bangs look really cute on her. I think she's gonna have bangs during the baby monster evaluation, right? They really fit her. So what I'm hoping for the next album for baby monster is that they'll get like a unique sounding song, like something that YG has never done before. So maybe still have the essence of YG, but it'd be nice to hear kind of like a more innovative song for the girls because they're also immensely talented. They all could sing and dance and rap. So if there's like a new fresh sounding kind of song, I think it would be great if um, a YG group could finally get that. She's kind of reminding me of Rosé over here with the hair color and no bangs. And she's also like pretty tall, isn't she? Don't know if they like officially announced height, but Rami is probably the tallest in Baby Monster, if not Rora. Now let's see the three photo cards. Selfie, concept, and second selfie. Next is Rora, but I'm gonna pronounce it as Rora because Rora is kind of awkward for me to pronounce. But according to YG, he gave her the stage name Rora, Rora, short for Aurora. I actually forgot what her real name was, but yeah. Um, here's her YG tag album, has her stage name and all that. No. It has like the nice new print smell. Um, <laughs> here's her monster. It's like a stick figure. And Rora's wiki. Oh, sticker over here. Try to make that more clear. I feel like there was an INTP earlier. I think Parita is also INTP. We have a lot of introverts in this group, it seems. I think there was only one extrovert so far. I could have sworn there was more extroverts in this group. Rora's not only singing tone, but like her speaking tone is like so nice sounding. It sounds like very, I don't know how to describe it. Like, kind of has like a deep voice so I feel like she would make a great actress because just listening to her talk she sounds really nice she has a nice voice tone so um it would have been a shame if she wasn't part of baby monster and I like how she always playing piano in the beginning of music videos oh here's her photo book I don't think I showed the back of the other one, but it's pretty much standardized. One side has um, the member photo and the back will have a seven on it. Just to let us know that there's all seven of them. I feel like I said that a lot. But the fans were like waiting for months, like, where's, you better have all seven members, where's Ahim? For such a visual. And she's so tall too. So I feel like she kind of has like an elegant look to her, along with Karita. I didn't see the clip, but I did read that she was in like a girl group as a kid with New Jeans Hain. So I'm gonna have to like check that out to see what kind of music she had before as a kid K-pop girl group member. 
So now she just exudes like elegant actress vibes. And um, she could totally be a main vocal in any other group too. If she's not the main vocal in this group, I feel like Rami might be. Gorgeous. And I think I showed all the sides. Now the three photo cards of Laura. Pretty pretty concept. Aw, a smiley one. I like that one. And the last YG tag album version is the Magne of the group, Chiquita. And she is the second Thai member of this group. Pretty much an ace in all aspects. There's the side, back, and side. Here's Chiquita's monster she drew. That's very cute. Check out her wiki. I feel like she's going to be an extrovert. I'll be surprised if she's not. Chiquita, the fierce Makne. Oh my god, this is an introvert group. I could have sworn it was like more than one extrovert, but it looks like I think only Asa is an extrovert. Look how young she is. Oh my gosh, 15. But it's amazing how well she sings and dances. So she, she was like a trainee for a very short period, but she's, she already had it. She had the it factor to be able to debut in this group. And she's tall. She seems tall. But only that age, so I feel like she definitely will follow senior idol Lisa. Lisa's footsteps. I could see her being as big as Lisa is. Okay, that's her wiki, and the last photo book. Looks like they had her grow out her bangs because I remember in the evaluation last year, she had like straight across bangs. But either way is working, works well on her. And she also has a similar singing style as Perita, at least back then. So it kind of has that indie voice style. I wonder is Chiquita her real name? Or is that like a shortened nickname? Okay, let's go on the other side. Liking the contact lens on her. The color is really nice. Now Chiquita's photo cards. Showing off those nails. Concept photo and the last selfie. That was the Chiquita YG Tag Album. Now I'm going to go through the Baby Monster all member photo book version. So pretty much a standardized version. It's a giant photo book. So now I am curious to see what inclusions are in here. So there's no spine. It's like it's stapled together. This is the back side. Let's open it up. Let's see. So here's the seven tracks, one remix, and um, batter up. And sh no, batter up and stuck in the middle should have all seven members' vocals in it. So this is just like larger version of the YG tag pictures we probably already saw. So it starts with Ruka, Perita. So it looks like it's going to be an age order type of um, thing. 
see larger photos. And finally, we see some group photos, so always good to see. Everybody looks so fabulous. Okay, and then now it goes to Asa, the third eldest of Baby Monster. And, ooh, inclusion. I love these kind of stickers because I'm definitely going to put this um, in a future binder, in the cover of the future binder if I make a Baby Monster binder. This is really nice. I love stickers and numbers. And, ooh, folded poster. This is a glossy uh, poster, by the way. This photo book is also, I guess, a semi-gloss. Not as glossy and thick of paper as the YG tag album version, but this does have a sheen to it. It's kind of like a magazine if you were to compare it to material. So I do like it when the um, pages are glossy rather than matte. I'll go through that inclusion after I flip through everything else. Loving these group photos. Each of them has like individual unique characteristics and they all have something to bring to the group, like some kind of strength to bring to the group. So the two tallest members, Rora and Rami. ready to Chiquita. We're ready to the Magne. I was expecting it to like be a bigger photo book like the YG tag albums but good enough. Oh and our first CD. That's how that looks like in this little pocket. This is just design. Okay, now we'll check this out. Probably, yeah, looks like it's an accordion postcard set. So Ahian, Asa, Rami, Ruka, Chiquita, Parida, and Rora. Rora. Ooh, and on the back, a message from each of the members, message and drawings. And it's also um, perforated, so you could detach it and display it as you wish. Let's see what this. This was like a smaller booklet within the photo book. Um, I guess it's like more concept photos, but like different, different costumes. Don't I don't feel like I've seen this before. This color looks great on Aurora. Rora. It's kind of awkward to say out loud. Rora. Asa. Ooh, I like how there's a little blue in each of their outfits. Looks good on all of them. Ooh, photo cards. Okay, so we got one Parita card. But let me finish going through all of this. Ooh, six photo cards actually. Back to Rora. Ahyan. Chiquita. Karita, Karami, Ooh. Luka, Ahyan. I love her eyes. They're like so huge. Okay, that was it. This is like um interesting material. Okay, so let's look at the first set of cards. We already showed Parita. Second one is um, Perita again. Perita, it's gonna be her again. Oh, Rami. So I'll just give them a really good song, YG. That's Ruka. Buka, right? Ruka, Buka. Asa. So we got J line at the bottom. So here's the six photo cards. I'm gonna open this up first because I have no idea what it is. Oops. 
like it should be a case for something. It may or may not be Weavers. Maybe it comes with the album. But I'm just going to assume it's Weavers. Okay, so we got like a box. A box? Maybe it's to hold the YG albums. The YG tag albums. So I have a box here. Let's see what this is. Ooh. Whoa. Signatures. Uh, maybe I'll just do it this way. So it seems to be age order. Ooh. Yuka. Karita. So it shows their name in Hangul in the back. Asa. Aurora, Aurora, Chiquita. And this is kind of like a more lighter concept, like schoolgirl looking concept, fresh, innocent concept, if you would call it that. Oh, this is really nice. Luca, the flowers. I always like the photo cards where idols are next to flowers because it just makes the photo cards so much more pretty here. Karita, she has nice writing if she wrote that. Most likely she did, so Karita has really nice writing. Um, Asa. Ahyun with glasses, how cute. Rami. Has a little crown on top of the R. Aurora. It's a nice signature too. And Chiquita with glasses too. Okay, so I have those photo cards. Let's see what this is. Maybe this is the Weaver's Pillow Benefit. I'll have to read the fine print and see what this is. Most likely Weaver's stuff, right? Yeah, we have like a group picture frame. I'd like fold it up, fold it up and display it, but. Let me show you the overhead shot. Mm, I only get one. So like a Polaroid looking Weaver's photo card and group shot. First card. Probably a sticker. Sticker? Yep. Or stickers. Um, Luca, Karita, Asa, Ahyun, Rami, Rora, Chiquita. Hmm. Looks like it's the same photos we just saw, but photo card version. Same age order. I'm just gonna layer everything. Those are the same photos and another Weaver's photo card set, it seems. In this form. I feel like I just got this. Oh, but it says Baby Monster. Okay. So, um, Luca, Perita, Asa. That's like the same. Why did I get another one? Rami, Rora, and Chiquita. I don't know why I got two of these. But it's my bias, so I'm not complaining. That's the pre order benefits. And that was my unboxing of Baby Monsters. First mini album, Baby Monster.